Good morning, everybody. Uh, we are here at Renewed Mind Wellness. Um, we just want to welcome you to um, another edition of our recording, reaching out to the community. Um, uh, today we'll be discussing just a little bit about domestic violence and how it um, affects children. Um, you can call us if you have any needs of uh, therapeutic services in this area or substance abuse, um, divorce, grief counseling, if you need that. Um, uh, all, overall, any kind of help meets that are mental health or substance abuse, we're able to service you. So the number is 702-331-4484 and we're located at 4170 South Decatur Boulevard, Las Vegas, Nevada 89103. Today I have, I have here with me Nicole Harris and um, we're just going to share a little bit or discuss, you know, the effects on um, children and domestic violence. So I pulled up some information from um, the national hotline um, concerning um, children that are affected by domestic violence. Um, first, if you are being um, affected, if you're a parent, and you have children, you can call the 1-800 number. It's 1-800-799-7233. And I want you to know right now while I'm reading that the credits go to um, National Domestic Violence um, Hotline and the information that they give. So the effects of domestic violence on children result from witnessing domestic violence in a home where one of their parents or two, we can just say, are abusing the other. Um, this plays a tremendous part on the well-being and developmental growth of children witnessing um, that type of violence. So yesterday, we tried to record this information um, two times. And so I don't know what was going on in the universe yesterday, but we have a little bit more of clarity we can tell today because we got three pods, one iPods, um, uh, to capture this information. We got a computer today. Uh, oh, it's tripods. We got all uh, type of um, tools to get this recording out so we know that there's an abundance that's getting ready to rain into the universe. And another thing that I want to um, let you guys know is, is that we have spiritual counseling. So if you prefer the spiritual approach we have counselors that do that we have lcpcs which are um strictly strictly intellectual and there is a difference um and mfts all right so anybody out there that needs or desires spiritual counseling over um the normal type of um, intellectual counseling then we have that because a lot of people want to feel or um, have their faith a part of their um, counseling sessions and um, the group sessions. So we have that. So going back to um, the effects of domestic violence on children, um, my my um, my guest here, uh, Nicole Harris, um, is going to share some of her experience on being um, battered and the effects that it brought on her daughter. So what was that like? <sighs> It was a situation of powerlessness, um, a situation of confusion, um, sad, hurt, all balled into one. Okay. And where, where did those uh, situations come from? Because you said that your father, we talked previously, mm -hmm. and um, your father did not abuse your mother. I didn't live in You that. didn't see that environment. Mm -hmm. So where do you think it started? Um, For you? The powerlessness, insecurity? The breakdown of my family when my mom got sick. No. The separation mm -hmm. um, made me feel alone. Okay. So when I <clears throat> uh, found someone, like a, a partner, I felt like that was that was it mm -hmm. and that he would be there for me in ways that um my father couldn't because he was you know trying to get himself together at the time so From it's the like divorce. right mm -hmm. so 
I guess I put more of my focus on the man. Mm-hmm. And um, then it became him telling me what to do, um, controlling me, where I'm wet, what I'm wearing, um, always getting mad about what I'm saying. And I never realized that that was a problem until I started fighting. So how did it affect your daughter? Because the anger, first of all, um, when I was pregnant with her, I had cracked ribs and I denied that he did it when I know he did it. Wow. But I felt like because I fought back because I was engaging, mm -hmm. um, that that's just something I had to grow, go through. I didn't I, I didn't understand that. Mm -hmm. I beat myself up for that. Mm -hmm. um, after I had her, <clears throat> he because I chose a, a poor relationship, mm -hmm. um, he wasn't around my daughter mm -hmm. at all. He wasn't around. He was in jail or doing whatever it is that he was doing. So, I became more protective over my, my baby in a violent way that I see him acting towards mm -hmm. me. Because my dad never did that. And I, I, I never, I, well, I never witnessed him acting like that mm -hmm. towards a woman. So. Mm -hmm. so again, how did the domestic violence that you experienced further on, how did it affect your daughter? You know, what um, deposits did it bring on her? Because we want um, the people to know how staying in a relationship of battering, you can't tell your, your child that you love them when they see you being treated in an unloving way because love becomes that type of um, way to them. They believe that beatings or being beat on by a woman or a man is an equation of love and we need to just kind of like break that cycle. Right. Um, that's, that's what we want to uh, bring this here too is breaking the cycle. Domestic violence is not healthy and you know go ahead. At a point I think that because that didn't stop with her father there was something that I was doing because mm -hmm. The next relationship became something to that nature, mm -hmm. and um, for your kid to ask you to um, make a better decision at a young age, mm -hmm. and you don't wow. do that, it loses it, you lose confidence mm -hmm. with your your kid, and then as I see that turn into okay, she start acting like me, fighting, fighting, mm -hmm. and um about everything mm -hmm. you know and not trusting in me mm -hmm. which I knew that I caused that from not believing in her mm -hmm. and not understanding what she, what she seen and mm -hmm. how she felt in the situation it was just all about how I wanted to feel in the situation so, so you were saying as a mother your feelings were more prevalent as far as what you knew you needed in a relationship and you weren't listening to her right to tell you that even as a, a little girl, girl that, that you this ain't right 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 right, right. so you guys started having um problems mm -hmm. in your relationship because she, yep. she saw she didn't want that for you or her and mm -hmm. you didn't hear her right yeah. okay so in essence what we wanted everyone to know is that you can call and get help to understand how to change the dynamics because at this point you have changed your thinking right, right, right. and you and your daughter have more of an understanding mm -hmm. yeah and you had told me yesterday you understand that you you seen her going through some things that you have to pray about more than talk about to her because you didn't hear what she, she was, was saying, saying to you so i have to know that she was she was not going to be too receptible to the things that i was trying to tell her why mm -hmm. she's in it mm -hmm. you know at this time mm -hmm. so it's like i have to be an example at this point i can't um tell her verbally mm -hmm. because i have broke that trust down with her mm -hmm. so it's like okay how can i get it back and i just started realizing it was me and that the way I heal her or the legacy thereof is 
Here, start yeah. doing better for me and making healthier decisions mm -hmm. and and understanding where I came from. With That's it. cool. So I like what you what you're doing because I know you do the calendars every month and um, your calendars are saying what 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 do they they go day by day? Yeah, they go day by day. Mm -hmm. Inspirational messages to to make you feel good in the beginning of the day. You know, you might not have nobody to tell you um, to do a great job or you're beautiful or you're strong enough to, mm -hmm. to conquer the, the projects that you started. So once you start reading them, your, sub your subconscious mind gets it in there. And then during the day, you'll see the words mm -hmm. and you'll be like, okay, I can handle this at this time. Mm -hmm. I feel loved, mm -hmm. you know, you because you never know. I have something on that where I just tell myself, you have to say to yourself, I love you. Because nobody's going to tell it to you as much as you can say it to yourself. You're right here with yourself. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that was the start of me changing because I realized I did not love me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when I feel that, when I felt that, I'm like, okay. I'm going to tell myself that. Mm -hmm. And then my baby will tell herself that. And then maybe her friends that um, good. haven't had the experience of love because I never knew that people been in households and mm -hmm. they never got a hug. Mm -hmm. You know? <laughs> so it's like that was the inspiration behind it. That, because I had been through so much and it, it was nothing nobody could tell me that could help me. Mm -hmm. But the words coming from the universe mm -hmm. kind of it's like it's a better medicine it's a better healing because mm -hmm. there's no judgment it's no it's just straight positive and moving forward mm -hmm. so. no judgment i like that because a lot of people are not talking about what's happening in their lives on this level mm -hmm. because they are being judged and not being able to get the answers that they need but that's why we're here renewed mind wellness at 4170 south decatur boulevard in las vegas and the number is 702-331-4484 cuz you can come here and get the answers that nicole and i have discussed today mm -hmm. you can get freedom and happiness you know, yeah a new life and uh the spiritual guidance the mental health counseling substance abuse you can get all of that here at renewed mind wellness so again the uh 1-800 number for divest domestic violence is 1-800-799-7233 and so we'll see you again thank you so much have a great day bye-bye